Hello guys, it's CatCat7 here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial thing. I should have done that on Wednesday, but my schedule is all dragged up. So this is a tutorial, which my first tutorial, and I'm going to do more tutorials like this because this is one that actually interests me. Interests me. So I've been surfing the web looking for, you know, a thing that decodes and k-codes. Like, um, if a server was to say, if you can decode this, you get op, which I'm not looking for to get op. I'm just on a server. I'm just um, thinking it'd be kind of funny to outsmart them by actually decoding it. So, or just actually be able to decode it, like you know, know what they are saying. So, um, there's no, there's no like decoder. You don't download or anything. So there's no download. It's just part of Minecraft. It's no, um, there's no hack. It's no, it's no mod. It's just a part of Minecraft. That is quite extraordinary. So, basically how you do this is, right now, I'm gonna type in A and K right now. Hi, my name is Color 7. And uh, I typed in A and K, and as you can see, it says, hi, my name is Color 7 in chat. And at first, sure, I did do A and K, because then if it wasn't working, it would put A and K in front of it. And when I do A and K in chat, it, and every other one is working. So if I were in L, hi, my name is Keller7, it, it goes bold. So it works for those ones. So, and K code, it is and K code. And uh, even on a sign, I'll put it on a sign. And K, hi. And K. So how I did this uh, was, um, um, I don't remember this was, uh, probably a month or two ago, I, and I just, I just figured this out. I just realized this. My friend had been using, um, a different language on Minecraft, just to mess around, and he had asked me why I put sevens next to my name. And I said, oh, how'd you figure that out? I had an K on them. He's like, well, I can't see that on, I can't see an K on different languages. So I figured that, and then later I just thought of it, and I was like, wow, if I put it in um, Japanese or whatever this is, uh, every time someone does and K, I can see it perfectly as what it's supposed to be, a regular world, a regular word. So this is very useful for some time when you're trying to outsmart your friends by actually decoding the impossible code to decode. Well, it's not impossible anymore because you can decode it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and, um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.